Hey, what's up guys it's still from funeral concept so for this entire week everything i'm going to be uploading is going to be on infographics this is something i want to do from 2023 onwards so in this video we are going to create this infographic in adobe photoshop let's get started All right, so let's go ahead and open up our application. Like I've been saying, you can use other software, but I'm comfortable using Photoshop, so that is what we are going to edit in. Um, using Illustrator is going to be the best because you can resize to whatever and it is not going to be affected by the rasterization or the quality. So um, in this case, I'm just using the HD 1080p. Uh, you know what, let's just go with A4 <laughs> and just click on create. So depending on your canvas, it may be different, but this is what I want to go for. You know what? I'll go with the 1080p. The reason for that is I want to be able to use this as my YouTube thumbnail so that I wouldn't have to create it again. I know I'm being lazy. <laughs> All right. So first things first, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to grab the rectangular tool, sorry, the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so by clicking and dragging. I think something like this is fine. Uh, unfortunately for my i have a fill color and i have a stroke so just 10 of the stroke and it's going to look like that if you have a specific fill color to go ahead and select it i'll probably select this one from here and make sure it is also set to shape and not anything like so so shape fill color no stroke i should have probably done that before <laughs> even drawing it out so using the move to v on your keyboard let's place it uh, somewhere around here then i'll stretch it out now if you're using a newer version of photoshop anytime you try to stretch something out it's going to do that proportionally uh, if you are on an older version that is not an issue but the newer version is going to make it proportional on all sides so if you want to deform it you have to hold down the shift key so that you can stretch it out unevenly so i think i'll do something like this and that is fine then um, let's duplicate this so uh, there are several ways of duplicating i prefer using the move tool then i hold down the alt key and you notice that the arrow changes to this double arrow we have black on top and white at the bottom then i just click and drag then i have a duplicate if you don't want that you can also uh, go into the layers panel right here click and drag onto the new layer icon which is the second icon from the right and it's going to create a duplicate and the third thing is you can just hold down the control key and press J and that is also going to create a duplicate. So whichever works for you, that is fine. Now, uh, I already have a color here, but I want to be able to distinguish these two. So anytime you are working with shapes, you can always double click on the thumbnail to change the color. So I'll just double click and make it a little bit darker than what I have here Then click on. OK, OK. So I'm also going to stretch this out because this is going to have some form of information and it is also going to be beneath the first rectangle we created. So if I place it here, you see, this is what we have. So I think something like this is, yeah, I think something like this is okay. So you know what, let's group this up. So I'll select both of them, uh, select one, hold down the control key and select the other, then group them up using control G so let's go you know what let's leave it as group one then we are going to have some text in there so i'll grab the horizontal type two which is here if you want more options on any of the tools just right click so just right clicking will give you more options so i'll grab the horizontal type two my color is set to white i'm using most mosterat as my font and it's set to both so i can type in something like yeah one more thing Anytime you are typing, make sure um, nothing is selected. Like, uh, as you can see right now, this layer is highlighted from here. The rectangle layer is highlighted. If I start typing, everything is going to be within that constraint. This is something we don't want. So make sure nothing is active. Just click somewhere outside the layers panel. Then I'll type in my information. So let's type in um, option one. Now I'll go into window and go into character. That should pop up somewhere here. And you see this A on top and A at the bottom is basically means 
text on top and text beneath this controls the spacing between them so i'm going to set it to auto for the meantime then i'll place this somewhere around here highlight everything using ctrl a and just make it all caps which is this uh, toggle right here so all caps and place this somewhere above like so you know what let me make this bigger so something like this uh, 60 point yeah i think this is cool then that is it so if i have any form of other information that is going to be here so just highlight or just click and drag now the reason for that is uh the moment you click and drag is going to have all your your <laughs> it's going to have all of your information within this constraint so if i close it up you can see it is within that if i open it up it is also within that now i don't want all this to be caps and i don't want to use the bold version i'll probably go for regular and increase the size as well so 25 24 18 let's try 24 instead or probably 20 or 22 okay so this is cool 22 20 <laughs> then i'm going to bring this at the bottom and make this much bigger so i'll go with the bold version make this uh, 30 and make it all caps okay so we have the heading and we have the text beneath that heading i should probably delete this i also want to have some spacing between the text being above and the text beneath so that is the heading and the text itself and just as we did for this instead of setting it to auto i'm just going to change it up to something i feel comfortable with so 32 looks cool probably 36 that is okay if you have anything like um, an icon you can add it over at this section but uh, for now this is what i want to go with so if you have more information like option one to five just create a duplicate from this so Control j and i'll bring that beneath whilst holding down the shift key so that if you don't hold down the shift key you get something like this uh, if that's what you want cool for you but i want it to be vertically aligned perfectly <laughs> so this is going to be option two change the text then we don't just change the text we also change the color so probably uh i have no idea what this color is but let's go with that so i'll sample that color and make it lighter than what is on top so we have something like this and that is also cool then i'll do the exact same thing so this time around i duplicated two so one will be here no let's select everything so i'll select the bottom group select the top group and just stretch it up not stretch move it up so something like this is okay so uh, let's go ahead and just change the colors because um why not let's go with a turquoise color or probably green um or brown i should have probably thought of the colors before starting out this tutorial so again double click sample this color make it much darker then we do the exact same thing for the last group so i'll select a specific color probably red it's okay sample that color from here and make it much lighter and once you are done just go ahead and change the information uh option four option five blah 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 and that is about it uh, there are so many things you can do with this but like always i don't want to make the tutorial too lengthy and waste your time this is youtube everyone is in a hurry so basically that's it for today thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Fino concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one